use. Context-free structures, okay? What that means is really story-based, allowing people to understand the context of where this is provided. And we want to use technology as a tool. We're not replacing a face-to-face -face teacher with you're going to learn online. I spent the last 11 years as a professor of software engineering at Carnegie Mellon, the world's number one school for software engineering. And I can tell you that I've also spent the last eight years as an instructor online for Carnegie Mellon's distance education program. We have distance education, totally online, and we have face-to-face -face on the campus. The two are not the same. We teach the same thing. It's exactly the same course, but it's not the same in terms of an experience. So I believe you have to have the face-to-face, -face, in some capacity face-to-face. -face. Now, yes, it's not as scalable as online, but purely online does not give you the same experience as face-to-face. -face. Does, that, does that mean you can't learn online? Absolutely not. You can, and you should. But if you want the real deal, come from a face-to-face -face instructor who can answer questions. Now, face-to-face -face today could be done on video, right? So we can have video. You can see my face. I'm not there to touch you, but you can see me. It can happen on the phone, it can happen on the chat. You need an instructor there, not totally remote, asynchronous, asynchronous learning. It's got to be some synchronous component to it. And technology today makes that possible. It's a shared responsibility. What that means is government puts the policy for education and reform and technology and how it is used in the classroom. Business identifies the needs continuously and the changing needs and tries to drive what they want from the training industry and the education industry so that they're able to get what they need because if they don't get the right people, people leave. There's what we call a brain drain. I was visiting in Panama a few months ago meeting with the Ministry of Technology and Science and Education and they can't bring companies to Panama because when companies show up, DHL and UPS and FedEx and HP, they want 5,000 people, 3,000 people, 8,000 people. They don't have people over there. People who are trained in the mass that these companies need. These companies don't go over there. Where they go? Or Mexico, they go to Colombia. They go somewhere else. So industry's gotta drive this need for more competent workers. Or people are gonna to leave to where they can get a job. And then the public school system. We talked about starting education at a very young age, and that's important. We can't start education at you know, the university level. We have to encourage kids to understand about ICT at a very young age, so when they go to university, they would pick a degree in science, technology, engineering, and we can get these graduates.